Well, and like, uh, go ahead. Well, you're when you talk about the retail, direct retail, like I remember mm-hmm. when the pandemic hit and D- Diamond hit a few shops, you know, were quarantined, but they, mm-hmm. they started doing live shows. And so it's, it's weird how comics took off. But what I saw, all of a sudden they go, we have new comics. I'm like, where the hell are they getting these new yeah. comics? And all of a sudden I'm seeing Murder Hobo. And I'm yeah. seeing these covers. I'm like, what the hell is this Myrtle Hobo guy? And also, because at the same time, it's a, uh, oh shoot, I can never say his name. Joseph Schmalky. Schmalky. He's a good buddy of mine. Yeah. Uh, he, he was a name that hadn't all of a sudden, but then this year between that book and then he did some variant covers and all of a sudden you're like, what the hell? This guy's over covering everything. And then of course, a book that blew up for you guys that we're going to talk about hopefully in a minute. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I, it blew my mind. I was like, how are they getting these new books? And so they, you guys opened up your website and said, guys, we will mail them to you. This is not a oh, big yeah. deal. I was handling it initially by myself, uh, handling all the orders, packing. Again, being a collector, like I, I'm very, very adamant about how you pack comics because we've yeah. all been there, man. Like where you get, you know, like this comic you've been waiting for forever and it's in this <laughs> bubble mail or envelope and that's all it's in. And it's just... <laughs> Yeah, it's horror story. Back and sure. and you're like, yeah, exactly. And uh, yeah, I, I started myself. Now I have a team of five people down here. That's how much okay. we grow. Just to give you an idea, in May it was me, yeah. uh, partly because of COVID. Actually, it wasn't even. I think we started in April. But uh, yeah, our, our creators have grown too. You, you mentioned Joe Schmalky. Uh, he's one of my best friends, man. And to see his growth as a artist as well. When I met yeah. him four years ago. To where he is now, like his something, um, something is killing the children. Variants have gone through the roof. Yeah, his book, The Electric Black. Oh, just wait, um, a little tidbit to all you people out there, all the people out there. Uh, we we have a big announcement on Electric Black, and it looks like it's coming in January. I was hoping to get it in by the end of the year, but yeah, uh, twenty twenty one is going to be the year of the Schmulky. I think I always tease him about it because he did Phantom Star Killer too, which yeah. was a huge hit for us. Oh, yeah, that, and, that uh, one was ridiculous. Oh, it's, I mean, it, it still it's not, is. It's, it's still, yeah. I mean, I just, I'm on the Facebook Phantom Scar Taylor group and they, to, they have their exclusive variant they just sold today. And I was like, yeah, well, this book, just everybody's still doing variants for it. Uh, and it's yeah. so good, man. It, it like, it taps into your nostalgia with like, oh, yeah. You know, the cross between Darth Vader and Skeletor. And the story is phenomenal. Yeah. I mean, it really is. Like, I, like, I don't, I wasn't expecting a much when I first heard the concept. I've been a toy collector for a while as well. Yeah. And uh, so when become, you say, were you a toy collector? Like the, because Phantom Star Killer is a three, I mean, a toy made out by Killer Bootlegs or Peter Gorgel or whatever. And, yep. and you're just going, it's a freaking non option toy that he went and found and he started making them. And there's a rabid fan base that I didn't even know existed before you guys did oh, the comic. It's, it's amazing, man. And I, I think Peter's career yeah. has run parallel with Scout, where he did, you know, DIYI, do it yourself. Yeah. And he has grown where, like an example, just talking to him, a little inside baseball information is uh, he did a Count Draco knuckle duster, which is going to be the next yeah, that looks uh, awesome. one shot. And it's, oh, it's awesome. But he had a, uh, did a limited release for, you know, San Diego Comic Con this year, which was yeah. the virtual one. And Super 7 did it. And they also had, I believe, Nightmare Before Christmas and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle variants. Draco Knuckle Duster. I think they printed, from what Peter was telling me, the same amount for all of those, all their figures that they released. And Draco was the first to sell out. Wow. And when That's you look great. at that, it's like a non-licensed product, yeah. essentially, with no backing. It doesn't have a backing of a big budget movie or a TV show. So it was a no-brainer for us. And Really, the tip of the hat goes to Schmulky on that one because he is such an avid toy fan that he's like, I want to do this with you, Peter. And Peter's a hell of a nice guy. Actually, Peter's the head of our merchandise division now at Scout. Oh, okay. We started a, our own um, toy company called Tracker Collectibles. Oh, yeah. I think I saw that come through yeah. last month. Uh, two months ago, two but months ago. Uh, have a big year planned. You know, I'll kind of break the news here is we have um, we're doing a Stabity Bunny plush. Oh, nice. That's coming Ooh, out. That's, uh, that should be a fun just oh, man. The potential of that. It's going to be unbelievable. It's, we're doing a limited run of a thousand. It looks exact. It's big, man. It's Ooh. it's Does a it large like a, a feature like with the knife or anything. Yeah. Like <laughs> Everyone asks that. No, but we're thinking about doing an accessory pack, you know, mm. where you have like little Velcro, like <laughs> knives and accessories you can throw in there. But it looks like Stabity Bunny from the comic book. 
So we're going to be releasing that soon. We put the order in, and then uh, we're going to be doing a um, a Kickstarter. Uh, my tentative date is March 31st, but the, I'm not going to reveal the figures. We're going to start yes. kind of slowly putting them online, but it's going to be a scout line. Oh, nice. And that's other titles, and then there's going to be a special sixth one, and news will follow, but yeah, man, we have so many huge ambitious plans for 2021. Uh, I have personally and also, of course, Scout and the subsidiaries like Black Caravan, which is our imprint, um, Tracker Toys, like just all types of stuff planned, man. Mm -hmm.